If you have knee arthritis or hip arthritis, or perhaps you've had a recent knee surgery or hip surgery, you may find yourself either temporarily or perhaps on a more long-term basis needing to walk with a cane. Or maybe you just feel a little unsteady on your feet. Maybe your balance isn't as good as it used to be. You might find a cane is helpful for you to be able to walk a little bit more comfortably with less pain and less fear of falling. But if you're going to walk with a cane, you really want to do it correctly. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to correctly adjust your cane and how to walk with your cane so you can walk with less hip and knee pain as well as be more steady on your feet. So first of all, the number one step is getting your cane adjusted correctly. A cane that's either too low or too high is not going to help you walk ideally. Now, when you are using a cane, ideally you want your elbow to be bent about 20 to 30 degrees when the cane is six inches in front of you and six inches out to the side. So this for me would probably be a little bit too high. Another kind of quick rule of thumb for most people, it's around the height of your greater trochanter or the bump on the outside of your hip. So if I put this here, this is just a little bit above that but you can see my elbow is probably a little more bent than I would ideally like it. So to adjust the cane, I would recommend that you get an adjustable cane, not a one size fits all wooden cane. You push the button in here and most of them will have a little knob. You wanna make sure that this knob is loosened up so you can adjust the cane up and down. And you push the button in and slide the tip of the cane in to make it shorter you pull the tip of the cane out more to make it longer. Now that was just a little bit too long for me, so we're gonna check this again. And this is about right. You know, a slight bend in my elbow with the cane six inches out to the side, six inches in front, and now it's right about at the height of my hip bone. So we're ready to go. Now next, which hand do you use the cane in? You would think that you would use it in the side that's hurting so that you can lean on that. But really, that's not what you do. You actually want to use it in the opposite hand. Now, I'll explain why that is in just a moment here. But the other thing that people commonly get in the fault of is they just use it in their dominant hand, regardless of which side is bothering them. And it does feel a little bit more comfortable and steady to have it in your dominant hand. But here's the reason why you really want to use it on the opposite side. If you remember all the way back in high school when you were going through physics, free body diagrams. Well, when you're standing on one leg, you've got the fulcrum right here. Your leg is pushing down on the ground and pushing up on your hip. And then gravity is pulling this side of your pelvis towards the ground. So that creates a torque around this fulcrum going in this direction. Now, without anything to stop you here, you're just gonna keep going in that direction. And that's why you put the cane there as a post. The cane helps push you back up in the opposite direction, and that helps take pressure off of your hip muscles. That normally your hip muscles are doing the job of keeping you from tipping over to that side. So when you have the cane in this hand, you take pressure off those hip muscles, and therefore they don't have to work as hard. So if your hip muscles are the cause of the hip pain, that makes them feel better. Additionally, if your hip muscles are weak, that can cause your knee to cave in that way, which can cause knee pain. So by taking pressure off of your hip muscles, it actually allows you to walk with a better gait so that you don't have hip pain or knee pain. The other advantage of having the cane in the other hand is that when you move your leg and the cane at the same time, it gives you a wider base of support. When you fall, your center of gravity has to move outside of your base of support. So if you have a really narrow base of support, like when your cane's on the same side, your base of support is only this wide. When you're on one foot, your base of support is only as wide as your foot. So it does make you a little bit more steady to have it in this hand, but it makes you a whole lot more steady when you have a wider base of support here and your center of gravity is inside that base of support versus your base of support being over here and your body weight being on this side. So that's the reason why you use it 
in the opposite hand. It may seem a little bit counterintuitive, particularly if it means you end up using it in your non-dominant hand, but that's the reason. Um, try it out. Some people just do better, can't get the mechanics down, but if at all possible, use it in the opposite hand. Now, next, how do you move the cane? When I see a lot of people use a cane, they just kind of tap it around at random, but you really should be putting weight through the cane. And ideally, you want to move it at the same time as the sore leg. So remember, you're going to have your arm holding the cane in the opposite side as your sore leg. And so when you advance the cane forwards, you want to move it at the same time as the sore leg and ideally have it hit the ground at the same time or maybe even just momentarily before the sore leg hits the ground. And that way you can put pressure into the cane and take some of the pressure off of that sore leg when you go to take a step. So that's how you'd move with it. Now to see that in real time, you take a step and so you're moving the cane at the same time as the sore leg. So that's really all for this video. This was just a quick tutorial on how to adjust your cane as well as how to walk with your cane. And just to re-highlight the top points of the video, you want to have the cane roughly the height of your hip bone, but your elbow should be bent about 20 to 30 degrees with the cane six inches out to your side and six inches in front of you. You wanna hold the cane in the opposite hand as the sore leg, and you wanna move the cane at the same time as the sore leg. So hopefully you found those tips helpful. If you did, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.